Hey, welcome back guys to the most amazing top 10. My name is Danny Burke and today I want to talk about what our world will look like in the future. Specifically, what will we look like in the future? In 50 years? In 100 years? In 1000? What about a million years from now? Will humans be humans as we know it? Let's find out in the top 10 humans of the future. Okay, so starting off at number 10, we have bionic humans. Now this is already a reality for some humans alive today. Bionic legs legs, feet, arms and hands have become a common sight around the world when people don't have limbs either through an accident, war or perhaps because they were never born with them in the first place. Bionic eyes, hearts and spines are already starting to make an appearance too. In the future though, we may not just replace our limbs with bionic versions because we have to, we may do it because we want to. As bionic technology improves, we may get to a point where they outperform our own body because the bionic parts are stronger, more durable and can be upgraded as technology improves. Next up at number 9 we have designer humans. Biotechnology has reached a point now that scientists can now edit the genetic code of plants and animals to make them more suitable to human needs. Now we're at the point where scientists could use that technology to alter the DNA of human embryos. At the moment the plan is to use this to stop genetic disorders or diseases from ever occurring in the first place. In the future though this technology could be used to create designer babies. Parents may be able to choose to have their baby's DNA altered so that the baby will be smarter, stronger and healthier than a normal baby. One day there may be millions of these superhumans walking around on earth. At number 8 now we're talking old humans. Scientists think the first person to live to 150 years old is already alive today somewhere. Let that sink in. Now, Due to improved diet and medicine techniques, humans are living longer than ever before. Human life expectancy has been increasing almost all over the world for years now and it's showing no signs of stopping. The average human born today has a life expectancy of 71 years. At the end of this century though, it could be as high as 125 years old. Now, do you think that's a good thing for humans? I've heard some pretty divided opinions. Moving on to number 7 now, we have space humans. Every single human that has ever lived has been born on Earth. It seems totally normal to us, right? But it might not be for those living hundreds of years in the future. There is a good chance that humans could have a colony on Mars by the end of this century. We can presume that if humans want to stay on Mars permanently, they will need to reproduce. That will mean humans being born on Mars. Now, those humans will have never known what life on Earth is like. It will just be a story that their parents or even grandparents tell them. Will these Martians be very different to us? Will they begin to see themselves as separate to us? Only time will tell. Moving on to number 6 now, we have monoethnicity. As the world grows ever smaller because of technology and humans becoming better connected, groups of people are mixing today more than ever before. In places like Brazil, one study found that almost half of all Brazilians identify as mixed race. They did not see themselves as belonging to any of the stereotypical racial groups around the world. It's thought this trend will continue in many other countries over the next few hundred years until there will no longer be identifiable race racial groups. Humans will have one single monoethnicity. Alright, at number 5 now we have weak immune systems. Humans of the future may have a weak immune system compared to us because of their reliance on medicine. Medical techniques may mean that humans of the future will be more susceptible to illnesses because their immune system will be doing less work to keep them healthy. Eventually we may reach a point where not only some people need antibiotics or other drugs to help them, we may all need them simply to survive. Modern medicine may become our actual immune systems. Moving on to number 4 now, we have evolved humans. Now for this one, let's go millions of years into the future. Humans are still evolving. We are taller, we're less muscular, less hairy and have bigger brains than our distant ancestors. If we fast forward a few million years, this trend may just continue to the point where we look something like this. These humans won't have need for hair as they will have our artificial warmth whenever they need it. Technology will do the heavy lifting so there will be no need for big muscles. Increased nutrition and health may push our height to the very limit. Basically they all look back at us and think we all look a bit like hairy, stocky 
cave people. Well, maybe me more than you, but yeah, you get the point. At the number three spot now, we have different species. Humans in the future may not even be humans at all. With all this talk of evolution and genetic change, there may come a point where they class themselves as a different species to us. If they were to travel back in time, they might not even be able to reproduce with us, just like we wouldn't be able to reproduce with our distant ancestors millions of years ago. To the future humans, we may just be another stepping stone towards them and not the same creature at all. Moving on to number two, we have trans humans. Some experts think that humans and technology will merge so closely that it's not just our bodies that will be part machine, our very own minds will too. Right now the human brain can already be wired up and connected to control artificial limbs, but in the future human minds may be connected to the internet itself, able to access information instantly. Now this might all sound very strange and science fictiony, but in many ways we're already kind of there with our constant connections to devices such as phones, tablets and computers. Transhumanists believe that connecting the mind directly to technology may simply be the next logical step. And finally now at number one, we have the post apocalyptic human. There are a lot of people out there that think humanity as we know it might come to an end within the next few hundred or thousand years. If this does happen, we may not end up being the advanced techno cyborgs that we've talked about so far. If civilization ends from a nuclear war, the humans that survive may be adapted to an environment that makes them look very different to us. And even if they don't change physically, a lot of post apocalyptic theorists think that if humans end up losing or rejecting technology, their small isolated societies may look more like cave people than space people. Well, there we go guys, there's some theories on what humans may end up looking and being like in the future. Now of course, the future is very hard to predict, obviously. I'm no expert, even the experts might get it wrong. So I'm very interested to hear your theories on all of this. The craziest theory out there that makes sense might even get pinned. My name is Danny Burke, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.